Welcome back to Introduction to Programming Using C++. My name is Alex Louis. Today I'm going to show you the strlen function, which is specifically used for character string variables or any literals that you want to pass in and get the length of that string, the length of actual characters used, which is different from size of, which gives you the length of the allowable characters. First thing we'll notice is that you need uh, IO stream library, so make sure that you do include this. And let's get to the code. So in the code, you'll see that I've declared a variable called name of 25 characters. Then I've declared a variable called str underscore length of type integer. And this is where we're going to keep the length of the number of used characters typed in. So as we look at the code here, I am asking the person for his name, his or her name. Then I'm using the get line so that I can allow spaces and if they type in a particular name I will pass in whatever they have on the name uh, variable to strlen and this will give me the number of characters that they typed in and what this does is actually it gives you the number of characters and it returns it back uh, as an integer as an integer and we need to actually store that somewhere so that's why I'm doing an assignment operator so I'm, I'm saying the result of this length used put it in my variable that I declared called str length uh, and then finally I'm just gonna write it out to output just so we know how many characters were typed in so let us do that now so if I type in the name uh, John Step so let me type that in it's actually going to return 9 because if we count the number of characters including the space is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 with the space, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now this does not take into account the null terminator so you don't have to worry about that. So 9 characters are the 9 characters that you're using. The other thing I want you to take a look at is that if I didn't have the C out statement here then nothing really would show up on the console because all this does is it returns back a the number of characters it returns back so I'm just storing in here unless I do a C out and actually print out that length uh, nothing's gonna show up so if I just commented out this C out line if I do compile and run I'm gonna type in John step again see nothing happens because this again this function will only return the length of used characters but it's not doing any type of console output or any type of um, printouts and it's your job to take that length and do either some calculation or just print out like I'm doing here okay so that's it uh, this was a fairly easy function that you should be aware of so you can get the number of used characters um, the other important point is again the size of is different than str length in that size of will give you the number of allowable characters so allowable characters are 25 right but here after you write in the name it's going to give you the number of used characters once you set that variable and you don't have to necessarily set the variable using cn.getLine you can initialize it when you actually declare your function I mean declare your variable name so if I did something like this okay if I did something like that and I didn't do the cn.getLine I could also do that uh, and this would actually return 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11, char 11 uh, used characters. So there we are. Enter your name. Actually, I should take that out, but number of characters typed in are 11. Okay. It, should, it shouldn't say typed in. It should actually say just the number of characters are. Uh, let's do that. So let me edit this program. Uh, and then go to execute compile and run so the number of characters are 11 because it's counting the characters that we initialize it in here first okay so fairly easy function to use uh, and it has a lot of uses as we're gonna go through the exercises and as we go through the the lessons here thanks for listening if you have any questions you can always visit me at www.parttimeadjunct.com or you can email me at 
Parttimemagic at gmail.com. Thanks.